be and your cross should be taped too because we want to like keep this together. So now, as I said, we're going to make two cylinders perpendicular to each other. So what do we do? Let's just do this easy way. We can just take this guy and then we can do on uh, this tape in the back. So uh, yeah, that's conserving tape, I'll say. So now we want to make it perpendicular to each other. So now what happens? We're going to make another cylinder just like this. We cut this and uh, we cut both of these cylinders in the middle. So let's start. Be careful not to cut your fingers. So let's do a cross cut. That's right here. You just have to bend it and then like cut it. And then like you can just cut all the way around this uh, ring in the middle. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You'll still get handcuffs. And if you get handcuffs, that means you're right. And you can go on to the next step. Which I won't tell you yet. So let's go here. And easy peasy. Now you get handcuffs. Yeah, you could definitely use this for a game. But we're not doing that now. We're going to cut this in the middle. So we're going to go just like this. Just like that. Boop. 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 And what we get is a square. Now let's leave that here. Activity number two, yeah. Now let's attach a cylinder perpendicularly to a mobius strip. Now we left off um, having a cylinder attached to a mobius strip uh, perpendicularly. I consider it not nice to forget the accent. Yeah. Anyways, um, now let's see what happens if we cut in the middle of both these. Yeah. So let's make the cross cut just like that. And then we go from left to right. So we go from left. And now we're done with this one. And surprisingly, we get handcuffs again. Now, we know that if we cut down the middle of these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Handcuffs, please don't droop. No, 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 please no. Oh, no, no. Anyway, oh my god. This is such an annoying handcuff. So, it goes just like that. And surprise, surprise, this is interestingly disappointing. We get a square. Same result. I guess I will put my microphone in the square because it's very special. That means these are homeomorphic, and these are the same thing in topology. Now let's do the, now let's do the third, okay. Now we have our eternal cross again, and uh, we're going to make two, uh, two uh, mobby strips of opposite orientation with it. Now this one is difficult and it's hard to remember the like um angles of counterclockwise and clockwise. Excuse me. So we are going to be using our marker or what I will call the dotty tool. 
Yeah, anyways, that is a humorous name, but anyways, let's start. So, we have this, this, so let's mark this one. Let, oh no, whatever. So, let's mark this one. And let's check it. Yeah, the bottom has a difference. So, this one, this is supposed to be the top, but now we're going to twist it to be the bottom. And I believe that is counterclockwise. But it had to be on the bottom. So that is a counterclockwise Mobius strip. And now let's do the clockwise Mobius strip. So, whatever. I'm going to put a smaller dot to my bottom. So, it's supposed to be on the bottom, but now it had to be on the top. Then we point it in the direction here. This is on the bottom, but now it's supposed to be on the top. So the mark is right there. And I believe this is how we do it. Now this one is a very romantic part. You might try making this for Valentine's Day, okay? Let's just cut this in the middle, okay? Anyways, let's start with the cross cut as usual. It's back to best to cross, wait, I think I won't. So it's best to cross cut here at like the straight place. And then let's go from left to right. And more the dots now, you can cut, you can twist it because that makes it honest. No, you can like flip it because that honestly makes it. Yeah. So now we got one Mobius strip. Let's cut it down the other. Ooh, this is. Ooh, turning out well. So I think we here is this. If we start from here, then we get where. Oh my gosh! So we started. This one is the now. Here's the romantic part. Here's the actual romantic part. And we just cut this out. And I think we just cut and wow. Look at this guy. It's a series of flint hearts. Yeah, I told you this would be romantic. Now let's put that away. So, now we know that this is a pair of flint hearts. It was kind 